Copy. Go for uh, hatch open. Other leak checks continuing between the orbiter itself and the pressurized mating adapter. Once that's complete, they'll continue with the robotic arm operations. As From the International Space Station, if you look in the, uh, in the center there, you can just barely see a little, little uh, tear right where the, uh, the uh, light side and the, and the lightly shadowed side in the center of your screen exists. And uh, it's, it's probably not that big of an issue, but we're off looking at it. it we'll find some way to go take a little better look at that area and make sure that the undersurface looks real good. It's longstanding NASA policy not to discuss astronaut medical issues out of privacy concerns. Um, understand that. It was a medical issue with the crew. Uh, the flight surgeons, of course we have flight surgeons that are, are closely involved with the crew at all times. They do um, private medical conferences with the crew throughout the mission. Uh, the crew called down and asked for one during the rendezvous, which was a little bit uh, of a surprise to us. Um, they talked to the crew members, they understood what the, uh, what the issue was. I will just say that it's not going to impact any of the objectives of this mission. Uh, it will cause us to rearrange a few activities. I think you heard uh, called up to the crew a little bit earlier that we're going to delay EVA number one by one day and uh, it will uh, be executed on flight day five. And uh, they also called up that, uh, that uh, Stan Love would replace Hans Schlegel uh, as an EVA crew member.